Get on my left. Get on my left. Matt McClung fades the dunk contest. I'm too flat. Gets upstairs. Get on my left. That's just fun to watch. He is back, fresh off of his defense of his championship slam dunk. There he is, yeah. coming to us from a, a car. I like this. I like this for you, Mac. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Uh, congrats, by the way. What was the celebration like for you in Indy? It was great. All my um, all my friends and family were there, so just kind of enjoying it with them and, and really just taking it all in. Mac, out of last year's performance, obviously that was one for the ages, but this dunk contest versus last dunk contest, how, how would you compare them? Which one were you most proud of? Um, they're both, you know, I, I was really, you know, grateful for both, but I think definitely the first one, my, I, I had more in the tank on the second one. I just, you know, I just, it didn't go as well for me, but, you know, I'm glad about the outcome, but I definitely, I definitely think I had a better performance in my mind. All right, Mac. Let's be honest. Jalen Brown wasn't supposed to be in that fight. <laughs> <with you. laughs> what's your What's your opinion on that? Did you Did you think any of the other guys were, were more deserving, or what was, What was your experience? Yeah, I mean, I think Jacob Toppin, you know, has some incredible dunks, mm -hmm. and I and I heard he had a crazy dunk for the last dunk. But it's hard for me to like, you know, make opinion about someone else's opinion. Like I can't, you know, judge for the other guys and. You know, uh, yeah, no, it was it was tough. I, I definitely thought he um, was great, and I thought you know Jalen Brown wasn't as you know. I know people are giving him our time, but I thought he had some good dunks too. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean the th the the three sixty windmill, like it's not as easy as he made it look. I mean, there's a lot of things. I think uh, I think he, he definitely got some flack for the kites in that one, but um, I don't know, man. Duncan and being on that stage is not easy, so I wouldn't I wouldn't give flack to anybody. He, ste he stepped up and did that, which was big That's for him right. in our game. So. Thank you. Yeah, stick it with him. Um, Mac, you. Did you love that there was an all-star that was competing with you? Like, did that put any more pressure on you, or do you think that was great for the dunk contest? Yeah, it definitely is good. I mean, we want the all-stars to be in it and people who want to be in it, so I thought that was really cool of him. Definitely. Um, and your first dunk, the self alley oop, you call it the, the whoop whoop? <laughs> um, that was incredible. That's and, and it only got the score of a 48 from the judges, who, by the way, I thought the judges were pretty horrendous. Um, they, were you surprised? No, no, not a 50 on this? That dunk was amazing. Because this is insane. Yeah. Incredible, bro. Look at this. Yeah, so, I mean, I was, I was, I usually put my arms out a lot farther on it, but, um, so I didn't, I didn't, you know, if it didn't get a 50, I understood, but. No, it's it's probably the hardest dunk I had to do all night. So I was I was I definitely was surprised it got a, a forty seven or forty eight, whatever it got. I was a little stressed for you right here, Matt, because the, the judges were getting crushed, rightfully so. It's almost like they didn't know that you know doing it on the second attempt is not to be taking points off. Um, and then I thought, if Mac doesn't advance because the judges suck, I think we're oh, all gonna riot. Like it's gonna be a problem. Oh yeah. That being said, when you practice these dunks, for example, a guy like Shaq. There aren't a ton of stand-ins walking around Earth that look like Shaq. How do you practice that dunk? Yeah, so I just had a bunch of my friends come, and um, they would stand on boxes, stand on chairs, just trying to get that <laughs> Shaq height. Um, yeah, but no, we would just get a measuring tape and try to figure it all out. But I'm, I'm glad it worked out. That's awesome. That was crazy. No push-off, no nothing. Nothing. Mm -mm. Wow. Mac, Hame Hake has also used Shaq as a prop, but when you saw him, did you did you consider like changing things up, or you knew when he used Shaq the way he did it, like my dunk is gonna be better than that? <laughs> so it's tough because I didn't do two of the dunks I was supposed to do, and one of them was involved Shaq, but a little something different, and I don't know, maybe I'll I'll just keep that to myself so I can maybe if I do it again I can use it, but. No, there's a lot of off the off the top, just random randomness in that dunk contest for me. Yeah, Mac, the dunk over Shaq obviously got you 50s, and you won the dunk contest. But when, like, when did you when did you ask Shaq? Like, can you do this? Did oh. you rehearse with him at all? Like, how did that kind of develop? Yeah, so I, I got a decent relationship with Shaq. He's he's been very supportive of me since even high school, just checking in with me. I texted him like, "Hey, would you know? Would you do that with me?" And he was like, "Yeah," but I didn't tell him about the jersey till in front of everybody. I was like, "You know, I'm just gonna wait, and it'll be hard to know say no in front of everybody." But he was really cool, and uh, he said, "I better not miss it if, if he puts on the Gate City jersey." So I was like, "All right, I won't miss it." <laughs> Mac, I know you said that you had a couple dunks still in your back pocket. So are those gonna roll over to next year, or are you gonna un unveil them on uh, Instagram or something? <laughs> 
We'll see, man. I, I don't know. I, you know, I probably two days out from it. I'm just going to keep thinking and, and see if it's right. And, and we'll go from there. <laughs> We're writing it down. We're keeping notes. Yeah. Talk Matt, when you look at next year's dunk contest, obviously a lot has to do with what, where your future's at, where you're playing. But do you, do you right now, two days out, do you feel like you want to do the dunk contest again? How do you view the dunk contest after two years of doing it and winning it? Yeah, I really don't know. I really don't know what I even, you know, my energy towards it would be. And uh, it just we have to be something I think about. It's not something I would say I'm not doing. It's not something I would sign up for right now. So I would just just think on it really, really deeply and try to figure out if my heart's in the right place for it and if. You know, it takes a lot out of your body. It's not something that's easy to do. So it's a, it's a long preparation and, 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 you know, dedication. If you decided to do it again and, and it felt right and it felt good, uh, considering your opponents, who would, who would be your, your dream team of guys you would like to compete against? Yeah, I mean, it's great to have the stars out there. I, I don't know. I, I want people to do it who really want to do it, though. You know what I mean? Because it's right. like, like we were saying, it's a, it's a craft. It's a lot of preparation. It's not easy. Um, it can be embarrassing, you know, so just someone who really wants to. And I think some of these stars um, that are super athletic should do it, and, and it could be nothing but good for them. Uh, no offense to us, but we figured we'd bring someone in who knows a lot about dunk. So uh, Vince Carter was there yeah. in Indy. Vince, what did you think? What did you see? I was impressed, man. I, I mean, look, here, I, 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 what Mac just said, man, just gives me chills because I've been saying it. It's, it's you want the stars and the people who are uh, who are able to do it to do it to get in there and which I think will make a great competition and I think that's what we're missing but forcing mm. these guys to do it you won't get the, the what you know what you really want and I, I love the fact that those guys you know obviously Mac is defended but like Jalen Brown and Jaime and and, and top and getting in it but you know because they want to and you're going to get their best effort but it's time to, you know, for these superstars to just come on out there and put on the show. They're very capable of it. You know, bump the brand. I think if you put a great show on, mm -hmm. your brand will be safe. Regardless if you win or lose, you you push the envelope. You, you know, everybody's going to enjoy the competition. Aaron Gordon, who who didn't win, we're still like, hey, his brand was okay. It, it didn't take a hit. No, it didn't. Mac, how many, how, how much inspiration, how much motivation, how many ideas do you get from someone like Vince or some of the past uh, dunk contest participants yeah i think with a guy like vince it was like you kind of learn from his swag with it like he just came in there so like confident and that and it played to the fans like it's just it's it's really a lot like you have to really think really deeply and it just kind of be your aura and your determination for it and i think i got that from vince just like his swag coming into the arena like i'm here you know I got and that. i wanted to be oh. in it you know I, I felt like this was an opportunity i wanted to be in it I, obviously i i you know, the league asked, but I wanted to be a part of it. And when once you get there, like I said, man, you have to you have to be confident. And I prepared for it. Like I took it seriously. And, and you know, it wasn't just, oh, I'm here. I'm going to just have fun and just go about it. No, I approached it, you know, like a game day and I was just ready to go. And I think that's why I was able to put on a great show like Mac has done. By the way, Vince, can you judge next year, please? Thank you. Because that was see, no, 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 because see, here's my thing. Uh, <laughs> I, I was on. I was actually on True TV <laughs> doing doing the um, the contest. So I, I just more so gave my opinions on it. And you know, since we're here, since Mac, you're here. I want to say to him uh, that I was I was impressed about. It, it, it's a lot of pressure, obviously, defending and you know, the, however you viewed the competition, however fans viewed the competition, whatever it is, you still have to go out there and do your job. And the one thing I was impressed with Mac was he did what needed to be done in each situation. And what I, what I mean by that is I think the last dunk, he could have pushed the envelope. And I, I've seen video, because I've, I've seen you before. I've seen video, <laughs> and I know with that dunk, there's other things that you can do with it that I've seen you do, like dunk it from, from behind. I know that. But he did the right dunk. It was wowing, but it was safe for him. And yeah. he got the job done, which I thought he thought things through a little bit, and I was impressed with that. So I got to ask both of you why I got you here. Prime Vince Carter. Oh, man. Prime Mac McClung. Who are we taking <laughs> in the dunk contest? Stop it. Don't, don't, it's not close, man. It's not even close. Vince, Come on. Vince, that's Vince all day, man. Don't, don't, man, even, don't even do that to me. <laughs> hey, man, you don't have to answer that. Back. But no, it's, it like, I, but I would love the competition. Uh, you know, that's what, that's what it's all about. I know the NBA years ago tried to get, you know, put a lot of money up for, for the best to do it. And, you know, that would be, you know, Prime Vince would want 
all the smoke with everybody because like it's just it's gonna bring the best out of me. And Mac, would you have to prepare differently knowing you're going against the, oh, the, man. the goat dunker, Vince Carter? I might have to start two years in advance just thinking and, and trying to figure it all out. Uh, you didn't just dunk, by the way. There was the Rising Stars game, which was fun. Did you did you enjoy that? What was a, a memory that you took out of that game? Yeah, I mean, it was good. We won. I know it's an exhibition game. It's the Rising Stars, but um, I don't know. I, I can't get on the floor and not compete. That's just that's just me. Um, so just to have the G League guys win, I mean, that, that, that meant something to me. And, you know, I thought, you know, I played well and the, my teammates played well, so it was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. No, you guys weren't playing, which was it was actually quite fun to watch. Um, what's what's going on basketball future wise? Like, do you have plans? You have goals. Like, where are you right now? I know you're in Osceola. What happens next? Right. I think for me, it's just to keep applying pressure. I feel like my whole life, that's that's what I've done. To apply pressure, keep showing, taking any excuses away. That's that's what I try to do every year. And um, yeah. if I'm in Osceola, then I'm going to try to win a championship with Osceola. That's that's really it. But um, it's all God's timing, and I'm, I'm going to keep applying pressure. I'm not going to quit. Love that, Mac. And after watching the Rising Stars game, man, you belong in the NBA. You're not just a dunker, man. You're a hooper, so keep working hard because we want to see you in the NBA. And we damn sure hey. want to see you back again for the three-peat. Damn right. Hey, I want to say something to that, Mac. You know, like for me, the dunk contest opened, opened the door and gave me the opportunity. And I like what you're saying. It's like if, wherever I am right now, I'm going to do my best and continue to take advantage of this opportunity. You're in the dunk contest. You're getting to show your skill you know, obviously in your athleticism, but yes, in the Rising Stars, you guys really came out and played hard. That's how you open doors and that's how you get that opportunity because there's some team moving forward that's going to need guys and that was a platform where everybody got to see your skills. So uh, I think keep, keep taking advantage of these opportunities. Mac, I appreciate it, guys. It's been a pleasure, man. We appreciate the time. Congrats again. Hope to see you in San Francisco next All-Star Weekend. Vince, don't go anywhere. You're sticking around. We'll have more Run It Back after this. Run it back, yeah. Run it all, run it back, yeah, yeah, run it all, run it back.